Today, in this meeting, we are happy to present to you esteemed partners and stakeholders in child protection, the result of the Child Protection Assessment Report and the new National Standard for Child Protection Case Management Framework for Rwanda. This framework is the result of several years of hard work, of many, many partners coming together. This began at the end of 2020, and here we are, three years later, launching a framework for the first time for children in Rwanda. So there's really just one thing that I want to share with you this morning, and that is Rwanda needs more social workers in order to implement this child protection case management framework. In my dream world, we would have a social worker in every single sector. Now, I know that might be a big goal for now, um, but maybe slowly, slowly we can get there. So I'm truly excited about the possibilities that this framework holds for the future of child protection in Rwanda. It really is a testimony of government's resolve and commitment to creating a safe and nurturing environment for children in Rwanda. So together today, let us celebrate this achievement and work hand in hand to make a lasting positive impact on all the children in this country. Morokozi Chani. What is the current state of child protection in Rwanda? What is currently happening? Who is doing what? Where? What are the issues that children are facing? How are these being addressed? What are the gaps? So it was all these questions that the assessment sought to, to answer. If we don't know what is happening, if we don't have the information, the data, the evidence of what works, what is happening, why does it happen that way, we are planning in darkness. And to switch on the light, we need to make sure that we give ourselves the data that we need. This caseworker is the one who is uh, coordinating the services, but at the level of uh, uh, one and two, uh, on the level of two, the caseworker have to make sure that a child receives the first aid so as to continue for receiving other services. Sometimes people used to go for the third one to look at for services or to plan without working on the safety to make sure the child is safe first of all. When we hear the child protection case management, we should ask ourselves, uh, are we protecting them against what? That's a very big role to all of us. Even this bring the responsibility not only to NCDA, not only to local government, but the responsibility come from first to individual, everyone. The biggest role is actually to the parents because um, I believe the Kate said, I will not go to school on an empty stomach. Whose role is it to give this kid? So I think we also need really to dig much about uh, our role as parents before we actually go to protection because we should be able to prevent from all forms of abuse in our home settings. As child representatives, me and my committee, we usually do or find possible ways to meet with the children during holidays with the purpose of realizing the problems that they have. And when we get to know them, we report that to our elders and they also provide possible support they could to them. The assessment presented today examined the institutional arrangements, legal and policy framework, coordination mechanisms, services, workforce, data systems, and modes of child participation that currently exist to support a functional child protection system. One of the recommendations of the assessment was actually to put in place the National Child Protection Case Management Framework, which will have a pivot role within the child protection system and will details and explains the roles and the responsibilities 
of every actor in the sector. I take this opportunity to acknowledge the invaluable contribution of all institutions involved in the process in the development of the National Child Protection Case Management Framework, which ensure that we are together in this important journey of protecting Rwandan children. It is with such confidence and trust in the future of our country that I officially launch the National Child Protection Case Management Framework.